this lesson, we're going to cover several topics. We're going to look at how to choose the clothing for a fashion shoot. Julia Perry, the stylist, and I talked about colors that would stand out against that brown rock. We decided to go bold with red and strong colors. Clothes communicate, so it's important to know what you want to say. We went with a strong juxtaposition, red dress and brown rock. The dress is out of place here. It's not camping clothing, so we're not going after lifestyle. We're really going for the dress as a statement, not being in its natural environment. I had the stylist send me photographs of the clothes ahead of time, so I get an idea that we're on the same page. And then from that, we'll select two or three outfits that she'll bring for the shoot. Always ask the talent to bring some clothes. Nine times out of ten, they're going to bring something that they look great in, and they want to wear, and works out excellent on set. The sun is going to act as a rim light. You can see that it's rimming her body on the left side. I'll be shooting at f11 and 1 1 25th of a second, 160 ISO. Here's our first shot. Let's take a look at a 50mm, 100mm, and 200mm lenses shooting the same image and how the depth of field changes. This is a 50mm lens at f22. Pretty much everything is in focus. This is a 50mm lens at f8. The background starts to drift out of focus just a little bit. This is now a 50mm lens at f2.8. The depth of field has diminished drastically. I don't want the sun on her nose or her face, so I'm going to keep her turned away from the sun just a little bit. I like the soft light from the large softbox on her face and body. Here's our final lighting. Yes, all of you naysayers out there, it's actually a two light setup. I might surprise you the next time and do a one light setup. It's not that I can't, it's just I like the look of multiple lights. Here's a 100mm lens at f22. The background has been pulled in a little closer to us, but is mostly in focus. Here's a 100mm lens at f8. The background is much less in focus now. Lastly, the 100mm lens at f2.8. Things are much more out of focus than the 50mm lens, but still very discernible. Here's the 200mm lens at f8. The focus drops off very fast. Here's the 200mm lens at f2.8. Great look, and one that's been used in the fashion industry for years. Let's take a look at some of the other images we created that day. We'll put on the screen the lens and the aperture so you can see how they affect the image. I tried to change things up using different lenses and different apertures to give us a variety of looks. Every time I do a lesson where I stop and look at a basic principle of photography, I learn something. So I hope you've learned something as well. Even though I have shot for years using different lenses and different apertures, it's just good to step back, look at the basics, understand them a little better, then you can apply them more effectively with the images that you're making. I hope you've learned as much as I have today, so keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking.